Right, so this question is asking us to find the Laurent series for the cotangent function and we want to find it up to the seventh term. Now, previous video I did the cotangent function because we know that the cotangent of z is the same as cosine of z over sine of z. So we use that formula. So what we can also write is 1 over tangent of z. Now here we used the Taylor series for both of these functions and then did long uh, division. Here we could just maybe use the tangent function and do long division using 1. So in this video I'm going to use this method as opposed to this method. If you want to check the link below you'll see how we did this method. Okay, so let's write up what it looks like first. So cotangent of z, so in terms of Taylor series, it's approximately equal to 1 over, and then the tangent function is z plus z cubed over 3 plus 2z to the 5 over 15 plus 17z to the 7 over 315. And then as we need up to the seventh term, we need to plug in the ninth term here. So plus 62z to the 9 over 2835. So if we solve this long division here, then we should get our cotangent function up to the seventh term. So now I'm going to take this off the board and write this in long division and then see where we go from there. Okay, so the place to start is we take this one divided by z. So we get one divided by z. That's part of our answer already. So our answer is going to appear on here. Now what we do is we distribute this one over z with all of these terms and write it along here. So one over z times z, that's going to give me one. And that's what should happen here all the time in long division. This first term here should be the same on both lines and then distribute the 1 over z with all of these so that's just going to mean dropping all these powers by 1 and the coefficients are going to stay the same. So let's just write those in z squared over 3 plus 2z to the 4 over 15 plus 17z to the 6 over 315 and then this one here plus 62z to the 8 over 2835. Okay, so now I'm going to subtract this from this line here. Now you see here we've got some blanks and of course they are just going to be zeros. So I just put a minus sign here and then just substitute everything as we go along. So 1 minus 1, obviously 0, that's disappeared. Here we've got a 0 minus a positive z squared over 3. So that's going to give us negative z squared over 3. And then all of these terms here are all positive with imaginary zeros above. So basically we're just going to flip the signs of all of these terms. Okay. Okay, so that's in place. So now what we've got to do is use this term here. So now we do this term here divided by this term here. So negative z squared over 3 divided by z. Well, that again is just going to drop the power by 1. So that's going to give me negative z over 3. And that's going to form part of my answer in this top row. So usual business, now we've done this term, we now need to distribute this term with all of these. Okay, so minus z over 3 times z, as expected, minus z squared over 3. So we know we're doing good here because that's they are the same terms. So let's distribute this one. So now we've got negative z to the 4, and then the denominator should be 9. Okay, so here we've got z to the 4s all in a line, z to the 6s, so we should get a z to the 6 here, and a z to the 8, we should get a z to the 8 here. 
so you know you should get all these in a nice line you know you're on right on the track so minus z over 3 times this one so now that's just going to give us minus 2z to the 6 over 45 and then this one here minus z to the 3 times this one that's going to give us minus 17z to the 8 over 945 Okay, now if we multiply this by this one, we're going to get a z to the 10. Now we could do that if we wish, but we're only interested up to z to the 7. So that is not going to be of any interest to us here in this uh, continuation here. So we're just going to stick with this for now. Okay, so now usual business on long division. Let's just subtract. So minus, minus and minus, that's going to give us zero. So that's going to disappear. Here we've got a minus, and then two minuses, obviously that's a plus. So we now need to do this one plus this one. So we're obviously going to get a z to the 4 term, but now we need to work out some coefficients. So minus 2 over 15 plus 1 over 9. Okay, let's take all these over 135. That's our common multiple. So we multiply this one by 9, so that's minus 18. And we're going to multiply this one by 15, so that's plus 15. So that's minus 3 over 135, so that's minus 1 over 45. So let's write that one over there, so minus 1 over 45. So Okay, so minus 17 over 315 plus 2 over 45. Okay, so our denominator there is going to need to be, well, 745 to 315. So that's going to work well. Minus 17 can stay, and then multiply this by 7, so that's 14. So that's going to give us a minus 3. Cancel out again for minus 1 and 105. So that's going to give us minus z to the 6 over 145, over 105. Okay, next one, minus 62 over 2835. And we're going to add this coefficient here, which is 17 over 945. Okay, so our denominator we need now, well, 3 times 945 is 2835, so we can plug that in. So the minus 62 will stay. This one will need to be multiplied by 3, so that's plus 51. So that's going to give us a minus 11. So that's our new coefficient. And that's all we need to go up to as well is the z to the 8. Okay, let's take this one off the board. So now, usual business, divide this by our z. Well, we just need to drop the power by 1. So that's minus z cubed over 45. And now, distribute that with all of these terms. So now I just need to increase all the powers by one and multiply the denominators by 45. And we'll only need to go up to where we get our z to the eight power. So that's only up to this term here. Okay, so now we're gonna get minus z to the four over 45. So that's to be expected. This one here, minus z to the six. And 45 times 3 is 135. And then this one and this one, minus 2z to the 8. And then 45 times 15, that's 675. Okay, usual business. Let's subtract. So we're going to run out of space here. So let's bring it up here. So box off this part of our question here. Start our working out here. So these two terms disappear as expected. Now we've got minus, minus and minus. So that's going to become a plus. So minus 1 over 105 plus 1 over 135. 
Okay, so let's get the calculator out for that one. So minus one over 105 plus one over 135, that's minus two over 945. So, first coefficient, minus 2 over 945, and z to the 6. Next one we've got minus 11 over 2835, and then we're going to add 2 over 675. Ooh, that looks a Minus 11 over 2835 plus 2 over 675. Minus 13 z to the 8 over 14,175. Okay, so that's that one. Now take this off the board. Usual business. Let's now multiply, sorry, divide this, take this one and divide by this z. So now we've got minus 2z to the 6 divided by z will give us minus 2z to the 5. And our 945 will stay in the denominator. So we're getting right close up to our answer. So we can take this off the board. So now let's distribute these terms with these terms. So now we'll get minus 2z to the 6 over 945, as expected. And then we only need to distribute one more term, that's this one and this one. So that's now going to give us negative, this is z to the 8, 945 times 3, that's going to give us 2835. And minus 2 times 1, that's just going to give us minus 2. Okay, so our minus 2 there, we can just bring this out front. Okay, now here's your business, let's just subtract them. So this term is going to disappear, now we want this one. So we've got minus 13 over 14175 plus 2 over 2835. Okay, let's get that one in the calculator. Minus 13 over 14175 plus 2 over 2835. That's minus 1 over 4725. And that's a z to the 8. Okay, now we can just tidy that up a little bit. Just take that minus 1 out. Just put minus z to the 8. Okay, that's looking uh, pretty large in the denominator there. So now usual business, we just need to divide this by our z. So that's just going to give us minus z to the 7 over 4725. Now we could go to the next line of working, but we know if we multiply this by this, we'll get z to the 10. And then if we multiply this by our z, we're going to get this. So there's no point in us going any further. This is going to be our answer. That's our cotangent of z, and that's our Lorentz series for cotangent of z. Okay.